Carlisle is implying is that we can put forth the standards of Christ apart from his name. And I think this is deadly. Are you saying that it would be wrong to simply tell a boy not to steal? If this is all the information we give the boy, yes, I believe it would be. Oh, come now, Norris. Without the authority of Christ, mankind is merely left to compare ideas. A morality becomes a matter of opinion. One person says it is wrong to steal. The next person says it is not. No standard is set. We need to tell this boy that the Lord Jesus Christ said not to steal. Well, I agree. This is best. But we cannot always mention the name of Jesus. It may not be received, especially by those already offended by the church or brought up in another religion. But Jesus is the authority behind his commands, and people need to understand this fact. If we remove his authority, then we have no basis on which to command. We understand what you're saying, Norris, but do you think you might have taken this thought to an extreme? It is quoting a source without giving credit to the person who said it. When we quote Shakespeare, we always say Shakespeare said this. It should be the same with the scripture. Observe the Old Testament as our example. How often do we read where the prophets first say, thus saith the Lord, before they speak? Yes, Norris. However, these moral standards taught universally would greatly benefit social behavior. Mm -hmm. Gentlemen, gentlemen, please hear me. Satan is not against good morals. He is opposed to Jesus Christ. A man can have good morals his entire life, yet you and I know he will go to hell when he dies. It is Jesus Christ that everyone needs, and the devil knows this more than all of us. Dr. Anthony.